Rachel Amma in the kitchen today. Rachel, you said a feast, you promised us a, a feast. It is a feast, look at and that. And it is a feast, a massive platter in front of us here. I have got a feast for you. This is my Cajun beer battered oyster mushrooms. This recipe was really inspired when I went road tripping around the States. I stopped off in New Orleans and wow, the, wow. the food, the soul, the yeah. music, you've yeah. got African, you've got Portuguese, mm. Spanish, you've got French influences that I really wanted to create a recipe that reminded me of that trip, but I wasn't vegan then. So I've never been to New Orleans. Yeah. Is it, should, be, should it be on the bucket list? It should be on the bucket list. Yeah. There's so much so. You weren't vegan then. I wasn't vegan. Oh, right. So I wanted to make something that was similar to that, but vegan now that I am vegan. So I've got these incredible oyster mushrooms and I've got these Cajun spices that I'm going to add in and make an amazing batter. So... And, and, and why do you particularly use oyster mushrooms? Oyster mushrooms, they're like, they're magical to me because they have such incredible textures. They're like meaty-ish, but they're not meaty. So yeah. anyone that likes a fried chicken burger, this is kind of similar. So I've got cumin in here, paprika, is that just flour in there? Flour, yeah. Cumin, paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper because I like a little bit of heat. Mm. I've also got oregano and thyme. I've got some salt and some pepper and some garlic powder. There's a lot of seasoning. There's a lot of seasoning, <laughs> but nice. There is, and the baking powder actually really helps when we fry it. It helps get those extra bubbles that will keep it light and crispy. So in goes all of that. And then I've got some beer. And if you don't have beer, you can use sparkling water. Just find beer is a bit more full bodied. Okay. And this is going to help create an amazing batter. So is this like a lager or something, is it? Not yeah. Like light beer. So you can already see all the bubbles and we've got so much flavor in there that the color is so vibrant. So give it a nice good whisk. So then with the mushrooms, I just Pull a big part, There's, they can come like this and they're so beautiful. And I just like to take off little bits. But if you find them in the supermarket, they're probably just the smaller pieces like this. And I've literally got some cornstarch. It's like a flower, isn't it? It is, and they're very beautiful. And then I can whip That's it. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, big but one. you see, you can pull that. So what's like three? Mm -hmm. And then they go straight in the batter. You can pull them, look. So you can pull them, so you've got four there, really, haven't you? Mm. And now my oil, which I might take off because I think it's a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you have to have it quite hot, do you? You have to have it quite hot and you get that lovely sizzle. And this takes about two to three minutes. It's not meat, so you don't kind of have to worry about temperatures that way. You just want to get a nice, crispy, golden, battered outer layer. Um, I was just looking at your book, Rachel. Yes. Lovely cover, by the way. Uh, Thank one you. pot, three ways. Now, that sounds like my kind of cooking. I love one pot cooking. Yes. So you just take like this, you take one ingredient and then you show us how to cook it three different ways. Exactly. So what I've done is, this is the hero part, the oyster mushroom. This is the big pot. And then I'm going to show you three different ways that you can serve it. So you can make it all on like a Sunday night and then you've got the main part. And then on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you might just want to reheat and have little additions to switch it up or have it the same way every day, which okay. I tend to do because I can be a bit tired. All right. So now that we've got these mushrooms, they come out like this, mm -hmm. golden, crispy, amazing mushrooms. I'm going to put it over here. So you drain them? So you let them drain, let the oil fall out a little bit, and then you've got these mushrooms. And now I'm going to show you the three different serving options. But there is a misconception that maybe these won't reheat that well, but they actually do. If you put them in an oven at a high temperature, like 200 degrees, get it nice and hot, Blitz them for about five minutes. They come out crispy, hot, and beautiful. Oh, so okay. there's no worry about that. So I've first option, I've got these potatoes. They're parboiled, seasoning them with a bit of garlic, lots of garlic, <laughs> uh, salt and pepper. Is that this one we've got here? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just nibbling, just sampling each one of these here, and the, the seasoning and the accompaniments they can really transform. Yeah. Uh, this dish from, from, from recipe to recipe. Yeah, little additions. Mm. Little additions. So then I push down think, with Ruth? the... What do you think, Ruth? Sorry, I've got my mouth full. We right are. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy, so I'm yeah. happy right now. With the potatoes, I just push them down a little bit because this way, when I put them in the oven, I get those, like, little crispy bits on the outer, but I like crispy potatoes, I have to say. So they go in the oven and they come out 
like this, and then with a little bit of vegan tartar sauce, which is vegan mayonnaise, capers, lemon, garlic, salt and pepper, some fresh herbs. Then I've got my mushrooms here, which I top, and I've also got parsley. Oh, that tartar sauce is delicious. Yeah, it's got a nice Taste. little tang to it. Mm, it's beautiful. Spring onions. This just adds a little bit of freshness to my potatoes, bit of lemon juice. And then you've got your oyster mushrooms that you can have just on top as you are doing there yourself, Ruth, which makes me happy. <laughs> and then the other options I've got with this one is tacos. I love street food. I yeah. love tacos. Yeah. You've got pickled onions, some tartar sauce, avocado, really simple tacos. And then I've got, as the third option, is a sandwich. Now, I know normally I'd call it like a, a burger, but... Given this is Cajun inspired from America, they call them chicken sandwiches. So yeah. This is my oyster mushroom sandwich. And then um, got a little bit of gherkins, got oh, a bit of lettuce, and then you can literally add a little bit of hot sauce because I like a little heat. Now, what's that sauce we've talked about that before? This is it called sriracha. sriracha. Yeah, just a little it's bit of very spice. It's spicy, isn't it? It is, yeah. This is nice, the taco. I'm just having some of your onion. But you're right, the, um, it's the whole thing about the fleshiness of the mushroom. Yeah. You, cannot, you actually fool yourself into thinking it is a meat. It's That's just... exactly it, isn't it? It's got a meaty texture, hasn't it? It definitely fools. I've got friends that hate mushrooms with their whole heart, yeah. and I've made them this dish, uh -huh. and they go, how is that a mushroom? And I'm like, my job is done. Yeah. I've converted you. Yeah. <laughs> I think the batter is the secret. It is. Yeah. All the flavours in the yeah. batter. Oh, really nice. Lovely.